What is volume strength of hydrogen peroxide? Hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, is a colorless liquid used principally for bleaching and in the manufacture of other chemicals as a rocket propellant and for cosmetic and medicinal purposes. Hydrogen peroxide has each oxygen atom connected to the other oxygen and to the one of the hydrogen atoms. Structure of H2O2 is not a planar molecule but instead has a twisted symmetry. Volume strength is a unique method of representing concentration of hydrogen peroxide. When hydrogen peroxide decomposes, it is converted to water with the liberation of oxygen gas. Volume strength of hydrogen peroxide tells the amount of oxygen gas released from 1 ml of hydrogen peroxide solution at standard temperature and pressure. If a H2O2 solution is labeled 10 V, this means that decomposing 1 liter of that solution will give 10 liters of O2 and decomposing 1 ml of it will give 10 ml of O2. The chemical equation for this decomposition reaction shows us that 2 moles of H2O2 on decomposition gives a mole of O2 or in other words the moles of O2 formed is half the moles of H2O2 decomposed. If we take 1 mole H2O2 solution and decompose it completely, it will release 0.5 mole of O2. At STP, 1 mole of any gas occupies 22.4 litres. So, 0.5 mole of O2 will occupy 11.2 litres. Relation between molarity and volume strength. If the molarity of a H2O2 solution is M, this means that 1 litre of this solution will have m moles of H2O2 in it and 1 litre of this solution on decomposition will give m by 2 moles of O2. m by 2 moles of O2 will occupy 11.2 into m litres of volume. Therefore, if molarity of a H2O2 solution is m, then volume strength of the solution is equal to 11.2 into m. Similarly, if normality of a H2O2 solution is N, then volume strength of the solution is equal to 5.6 into N. Let's solve few examples on volume strength of H2O2. Question. A 5.0 cm3 solution of H2O2 liberates 0.508 gram of iodine from an acidified potassium iodide solution. Calculate the strength of H2O2 solution in terms of volume strength at STP. This question was asked in IIT JEE 1995 exam. Solution Catalytic decomposition of hydrogen peroxide by potassium iodide results in release of iodine gases and formation of potassium hydroxide. We are given volume of H2O2 solution V equal to 5.0 cm3 which is equal to 5 by 1000 litres. Let's assume that the molarity of H2O2 solution is equal to M. Number of moles of H2O2 is equal to molarity into volume which is equal to 5 by 1000 into M. Weight of iodine gas liberated, W is equal to 0.508 gram. Molecular weight of iodine gas is equal to 254 grams. Therefore, moles of iodine gas is equal to given weight by molecular weight equal to 0.508 divided by 254. From the balanced chemical equation, we can see that 1 mole of H2O2 liberates 1 mole of iodine gas. Therefore, 5 by 1000 into M is equal to 0.508 by 254. Solving this gives us molarity, M equal to 0.4. Volume strength of H2O2 is equal to 11.2 into molarity, that is equal to 11.2 into 0.4, which is equal to 4.48 V. Let's solve another example. Question. To a 25 ml H2O2, excess of acidified solution of potassium iodide was added. The iodine liberated required 20 ml of 0.3 N-sodium theosulfate solution. Calculate the volume strength of H2O2 solution. This question was asked in IIT JEE 1997 exam. Solution. Catalytic decomposition of hydrogen peroxide by potassium iodide results in release of iodine gas and formation of potassium hydroxide. 
sodium thiosulfate is used to reduce iodine back to iodide, producing tetrathionate sodium and sodium iodide. Suppose molarity of H2O2 solution is M1 and given volume V1 is equal to 25 ml. Volume of Na2S2O3 V2 is equal to 20 ml and normality of Na2S2O3 is equal to 0.3 N. Na2S2O3 breaks down into two sodium ions and one thiosulfate ion which means total positive charge in it is equal to 2. Therefore, N factor of Na2S2O3 is equal to 2. We know molarity is equal to normality divided by N factor. Therefore, molarity of Na2S2O3 M2 is equal to 0.3 by 2. By definition, M1V1 is equal to M2V2. 25 into M1 is equal to 0.3 by 2 into 20. Solving this, we get molarity of H2O2 solution. M1 equal to 6 by 50. We know volume strength is equal to 11.2 into molarity that is 6 by 50 into 11.2 which is equal to 1.344V. This concludes our video on volume strength of H2O2. Students must remember the relationship between molarity, normality and volume strength to quickly solve similar problems. Please like, share and comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more interesting and educational videos to earn while you learn, download Extra Class app from Google Play Store and get rewarded for studying.